Hello, and what a surprise. Um, it's very rare that I do a live video on my timeline. And today's one of those days because there's something I want to talk very briefly about, about something I'm very passionate about, helping others to heal themselves and to help themselves, especially those with um, post-traumatic stress and any type of trauma that people have gone through. And um, this is in regards to a post I just shared yesterday um, where I wrote from a Queensland Australia government website. Please remember there are those with psychological reasons for not being able to wear a mask because we've been put in two weeks um, masks and social distancing. Be kind to others as you do, you legally do not have the right to question or give someone a hard time if they do not wear a mask. So if you're healthy and well, if you haven't been to any hot spots, if you don't have any fevers, chills, night sweats, shortness of breath, I have a cough sometimes as an ex smoker's cough, but no new cough. So <clears throat> um, I fall into one of these exempt categories. And while a lot of Again, I'm no expert. This is my private and personal timeline sharing support and love for those of you that are in the exempt category that are finding it difficult. A beautiful soul shared on my timeline yesterday how they went into the Department of Motor Transport and the lady was really rude and said she would call the police um, and she actually legally cannot do that. So a lot of people, when you say, I'm exempt and you keep moving. A lot of people will let it go. They'll, they'll, you know, don't challenge people and be in their faces if you're exempt. Honestly, just do what you've got to do and keep moving. And it's very stressful for those um, who already have anxiety and post-traumatic stress issues to have someone confront these so-called self-authoritarians that like to it's bring the bully up in people. When they're seeing people not wearing masks, they have no legal right. Actually, in um, the Australian Disability Discrimination Act of 1992, Section 24 states, it's unlawful for a person to discriminate against another person's disability. There is no current legislation or law that a person must provide a medical certificate for their mask exemption. In fact, pursuant to the Australian privacy principles, it's unlawful for businesses to require the provision of more information than is reasonably necessary for them to perform their operations. The statement that a person is un unable to wear a mask is sufficient information. And the public health directions in each state have made it clear people are not required to provide proof of their reason for being unable to wear a face mask. So people have said, if I have a medical reason, no, I am not the professional here. I am not the expert. I'm going off laws and rules that that's what I did when I won and fought my own case against the Australian government. and had the first rule in Parliament brought in for women in the military services. And that's how I did it, by going by the rules, okay? So there is a provision for souls like me and us, not even going into the vaxxers. I'm still, I'm not going into any of that. Bless you, Jay, for writing that. I'm not going into any of that. I'm not about that. There's a bigger picture going on. I have faith and trust that my vibration will be okay with whatever it is if I'm needing to do something in the future. That's where I stand on this issue. Others are at the forefront. I'm here being a light bringer, shining my light, and I have no fear about this, okay? There's a bigger picture going on. So enough said for that for me. Um, I don't go down that rabbit hole. It's too much. I will say the energies last night have picked up of anxiety. The anxiety here in Australia has picked up big time with the new restrictions. So if you're one that's picking up and feeling more anxious, really come into your own little space. And I'll say your own little bubble, come into your own little personal space and look after you, please. Okay. So
it still takes guts and strength when you suffer from anxiety and post-traumatic stress to go out and have people confront you that have no clue about the law that legally they um it's unlawful for people to question you and it's about getting the strength to let people know i'm exempt and just keep walking okay so hi everyone hi kerry hi kurt hey jade hey rachel hey ej hey johnny hello beautiful souls and anyone else that sees this i probably will share this on anastasia blue beyond guide and then also on the anastasia blue beyond guide uh, youtube website as well so i'm going i've run all the places i'm having a medical procedure done soon i've already rang up and organized with the hospital let them know they were very compassionate very understanding i've rang the places that i frequent and visit i just rang woolies <clears throat> here and they said they are well aware they're not allowed to question people and they are trusting each person to do the right thing and wear their mask so um and they said if anybody says anything I have the freedom to go up to the service manager. She was lovely. People are very understanding. People are very lovely, but you will get those one or two little dictators, the little Nazis, the little that have taken upon themselves that are rude. I had one the other day in a medical center I go to and I said to her actually, and I don't like to say this, actually, no, you do not have, and that's why I'm doing this, Ella, is the peer pressure. Um, you do not have the right, and I just quoted it under section the 1992 and 88 Act, you don't have the right to ask me that. It's unlawful. Do you know that? So the more I'm doing this, the more I'm getting more strength because in what I do and bring through, I'm a trailblazer. I clear paths for the planet and humanity for other people. That's what I do. 26 years I've been doing this. I share a lot here on my private timeline, but I don't go into my deep, deep spiritual stuff. I do that more on the Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide page. So for people that don't know I have a page, a website and Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide YouTube, if you feel to go and have a look, you'll have a look. If not, don't it doesn't bother me there's only one me and no one else brings through what i do so i'm not in competition and i'm not a business i'm here i have the passion of the living christ energies in me to help people help themselves i come from unconditional love that's where i come from i am not a business this is not about business okay this is about freedom of our souls our hearts about unconditional love and compassion and helping the planet and humanity to grow and it starts by looking after you first stay in your own energy space and look after you so i'm going to go now so this was brief and this is to help those people to give them that bit of strength that you don't need to go through the anxiety and the stress and whatever comes up for you and wearing the mask if you have your medical condition they call it condition, but that's okay. Um, the more you do it, the braver you'll get. The stronger I'm getting, the braver I'm getting as I'm going out because I simply am unable to wear a mask for a medical reason. And it's unlawful for anybody to ask me. And if anyone does, I want you to be brave hearts and stand up for yourself and say, I'm medically exempt and keep walking or the don't get into a shit fight with them because they've won. That's not what it's about. And this is you taking your power back that you are legally allowed not to. So take care of you, nurture you, um, keep safe. And thank you for joining me here, everyone. Good to see you, everyone that's here and everyone else that sees this. Um, have faith and trust. There's a bigger picture going on. Look after you first because really you're your own healer. All right. Thank you. Love. Bye.